All matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration. The only truth you know is what you get over this tube. We are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. An entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube is the gospel. The ultimate revelation. Their whole purpose throughout history has been to teach a small number of people how to become adept at controlling everyone else. There's no such thing as death. Life is only a dream and we're the imagination of ourselves. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Whether you decide to take the time to listen to so-called conspiracy theories or not, there are some things that should be clearly understood by all. And these are not conspiracy theories by any stretch of the imagination. They are well-documented, quite traceable, and very provable facts. And these facts are as follows. There is one ruling bloodline that exists on this earth. This ruling bloodline is very old. It is the same bloodline that has always ruled the earth ever since the days of ancient Egypt. And it is very pervasive. For example, many people think that anyone can get to be president of the United States. But the reality is that a large number of presidents are in fact related and their lineage can be traced back to European monarchy and in particular to the line of William of Orange. This elite bloodline can actually be traced back a good deal further than that and even back as far as the royalty of ancient Egypt and it is this very same bloodline that has ruled the earth ever since and to which the British monarchy and many other world leaders can ultimately be traced. The families of this line are steeped in ancient traditions and symbolism, and they do not attempt to hide these connections. Just a look at the royal coat of arms, the royal regalia and the coronation throne clearly demonstrates these connections. In fact, the signs and symbols are always right there in plain view for discerning eyes to clearly see. One only needs to take the time to look. Any real investigation shows us that the entire financial system by which the world is run today is actually operated by the Crown. And contrary to popular belief, the Crown does not refer to the royal family or to the British monarchy. The Crown actually refers to the inner city of London, which is in fact a privately owned corporation that functions as a completely separate sovereign state outside the jurisdiction of England. Most people are completely unaware that when they swear allegiance to the Crown, they are actually swearing allegiance to this private corporate empire. The inner city of London also has two sister city-states of Vatican City and Washington's District of Columbia, both of which are also separate sovereign states within their host countries. Each of these three city-states has its own flag, its own laws, its own news services and its own police forces and each pays no taxes to the host country in which it is located. These three cities form a private, covert empire that operates the entire Western world that is known as the Empire of the Three Cities. The inner city of London is the centre for monetary control. Vatican City is the centre for spiritual control. Washington DC is the center for military control. It is the individuals who control this private corporate empire who call all the shots and pull all the strings. These people control all governments and all mainstream media via the stranglehold they have over the world monetary system. And more and more people are becoming aware of the reality of this all the time. The beginnings of this private empire can be traced back to a secret meeting that took place in 1773 between Mayor Amschel Rothschild and the heads of 12 other powerful families, including such dynasties as the Warburgs, the Schiffs and the Oppenheimers. 
Following this meeting, Rothschild employed the services of a man by the name of Adam Weishaw in the creation of a society known today as the Bavarian Illuminati, which was itself officially founded three years later in 1776. Many people think the Illuminati is a myth, but in actual fact, this society is still in operation to this day and has since become the most powerful organization in the world. The surviving members of this order are the individuals who also indirectly own and operate the World Bank. It is the World Bank who covertly dictates global oil prices and whose shareholders also control the global Federal Reserve banking system. Each Western government actually has the legal right to coin its own money and to control its value, but they do not. They borrow money from this privately run central banking system. Through the magic of fractional reserve banking, these central banks are able to create money from thin air via the creation of money as debt, and then profit on it by charging interest on the loans. Most people are duped into believing that their taxes pay for infrastructure, such as road and schools, and without taxes, the country would fall apart. But this is completely untrue, for the money is in fact borrowed from a private bank. And then you are taxed in order to pay off the interest on the loan. No matter how you choose to look at things, one thing must be clearly understood. And that is that every person in the Western world who has a job is forced each year to give away approximately three months worth of their wages in taxes. And that money goes directly into the pockets of the private individuals who own and run the Federal Reserve banking system. It's one big privately run scam.